to you. Welcome back to our channel. It's T I K Y I I L E, aka Titular. Back with chapter 5 of the Gonna Die series. I know you're a bit confused, a bit perplexed, as some may say, with my new setup um, and probably the quality of the, the video as well. Yes, we've upgraded as always. This is my new setup, this is my new life, this is my new motive. I've upgraded, I've changed, I've relocated. And I'm here today with you. So before we even get into chapter five, Clutch Man came through Clutch once again. If you guys remember in chapter four, I showed you Nana Wilding. I was doing my homework for chapter five and I came across these videos from chapter four, which I should have shown. So I'm gonna play the clips right now for you to see and you understand how Nana and his sisters were really, really, really wilding. Enjoy. <laughs> I don't do you now see what I was talking about? Are you starting to get what I'm talking about? Now that was crazy! The way she was holding, look. Grandma was holding the chicken like this. Like this, this live chicken. The chicken wasn't dead. The chicken was still alive. You heard it! I have chicken drumstick. I don't even have chicken nuggets. But don't bring me a whole chicken which is not even dead. That's, I mean, that's not for me. Anyway, let's get into chapter 5. We're here in Bregro. And the first day, you know, Nana was out here showing me the streets. She was really showing me her ends. And we did some little market shopping, you can say. I shared the clips now so you can see what I'm talking about. But it was really fun. I like, it was kind of cool seeing her interact with her sisters and seeing how they used to be boys back in the day. And it was fun. So here you go. Oh. <laughs> The days went past and I realized that girl really didn't have much chicken for it. So I said, okay, let me do a quick Google search and see things to do in Bego, like anybody does, anywhere to go, whether it's Milan, Tokyo, Japan, you get a gif. Obviously nothing came up, which is fine, apart from a waterfall. I thought, oh, this is it. This is my moment. I can go get my nice beach pick if I want to, get my nice waterfall pick, one of these ones, you know, looking down, looking this way. I thought, okay, I spoke to Nana, yeah. So Nana, you know this waterfall? I said, yeah, I know this, it's so really nice. I said, are you sure it's nice? I said, yeah, it's really good. Then we rocked up and it was in this nice foresty area. It's like one of those places where you have to know the area to be able to find So I thought, Perfect, I've got a little gem for you guys. But next time, I should have my expectations that high. I just humble myself once again as always. But I'll move on to the party, the main event, what we've all been waiting for. And the party was cool. The party was doing party boy things, you know? It was fun. for me 
let me sit back and relax. I'm in my own house, apparently, anyway. The real shocker for me was when Grandma said, oh, we're gonna give some books to the local school. I mean, all I thought we were coming here for was the party, which is fair enough, the party's been and gone. But Grandma also said we were gonna be giving some books away to what I thought was just a local school. It ended up actually being the school she went to as a kid. Her and her sisters and her brother. I'm away. 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 I'm i Ah, ni mami, eni ni wafa. Eba primary school waha. Eh, that's what you say. Na fe kwa di e kwa ni ni mo ano. Amen. Let's hear from it. Let's hear. Let's hear. Let's hear. Let's hear. Also humbling to be there and see all these kids who appreciated what my grandma and her family decided to do, and giving the books to the libraries, reading books, writing books, and see the impact that is most definitely going to have on these children. I just felt so honored and be proud to be part of the family. Knowing what I know now about Bed Girl and the kind of things which happened and I came across, I would most definitely, definitely go through the whole experience once again. Because for me, it was such an amazing eye-opener to see their complete contrast in, to be honest, from Accra to Bed Girl. So I'm very, very thankful for the whole experience. And now if you're watching this, I know you're probably not watching it, but more time you on WhatsApp. I'm very thankful that you're able to show me your ends, um, as they say, in the girl, and really opened my eyes to almost a different world, you can say. So, as always, please like, subscribe, share with your friends. Feel free to comment down below your favorite part of this episode, what you'd like to see in future episodes.